competition, they're going to have to judge us by the one thing we have in common. The queen to take the crown should be the one who had the biggest. The firmest. The fullest. Load of BS to deal with from the man who put a ring on it. The queen for whom it didn't really go as planned Shall be the one to lead the band
just really like my head.
was running out of women to marry in England, he had to look a little further afield. He had to adjust his location settings, if you will, to find his next queen. We're heading to Charles.
live up to his expectations. I mean, it's the usual story, isn't it? The sassy, young princess, deemed repulsive by the wheezing, wrinkled, ultra riddled man, 24 years her senior. Rejection. Rejection from a kid. How could anyone overcome a fate as devastating as being forced to move into a resplendent palace in Richmond with more money than I could ever spend in a lifetime and not a single man around to tell me what to do with it? I mean, seriously?
I told them. Oh yeah. That's all right. I probably won't ring then. Oh well. Back to the party! Let's take a moment to check back in with the competition. So, who's still in the room? Will it be the devoted wife? The divorce? Or will match our problems to deal with? My son had to deal with the loss of his mother. Wow, yeah, kind of like how my body had to deal with the loss of its head. Wait, come on now. Can you see what's happening? Comparing your losses isn't going to change the fact that I've already won. I mean, I was literally shipped over from a foreign country, not knowing a single word of it. Sexy. 
Duchess captivated his office and had a duty to fulfill. He even let me use his favourite quill spilled ink all over the parchment. My wrist was so tight, so I came back the next day to see you required.
opportunity to thank all of the powerful men that have got me to where I am today. Look, I couldn't do it without you. London, thank you so much.
something Henry and I have in common, I guess. Though, unlike him, I did manage to get through them without decapitating anyone. <laughs> yes, gold star for Kathy Pearl. I also had to keep finding new husbands to avoid being ostracized. Yeah, Tudor womanhood. I recommend. <laughs> and then one day, finally, I, I meet this guy, Thomas. He seemed like he might stick around for a while, and well, you guessed it. He, he turned out to be the love of my life. I know, right? We had this plan to get married, actually. But that's when Henry showed up. Single and ready to make an unsuspected woman his wife. <laughs> Just my luck. So that was that. I had to write a letter to Thomas. Ending things. Dear Tom, you know I love you, boy, in every single way, though I love you, boy, I'll miss you every day, oh, I love you, boy, I wish that I could stay with you and keep the life I made with you.
Why does anyone know who we are? My oh, sixth finger! Put it away, babe! <laughs> Let me put it differently. Who was Henry VII's wife? Wife. We, we don't, don't know. Know. I mean, we don't know. <laughs> the point is, the only reason that any of these people are here tonight is because, well, once upon a time, the same guy fell in love with us. Right. But isn't there a bigger problem here? The dissolution of the monasteries! No! I'm talking about us! Because as soon as we get together as a group, everyone notices Jane can't dance yet. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> One of his wives. One of. Six. Oh, well, do you get it? Since the only thing we have in common is our husband grouping us as an inherently comparative act and as such necessarily elevates an historical approach ingrained in patriarchal structures. <laughs> such a mess. Yeah, because if we had realised then maybe we could have just done something else, like a fake competition to show everyone how messed up comparing us all is. Oh yeah, and then we could have thought of some really cool way to like reclaim our stories and like all become the leading ladies. Oh, and we could have done that as a song. Oh, do you know what? That would have really tied things together so neatly. If only we thought of that before. <laughs>
I said we have a full Because after all, 